<sighs> for the subscribers. You wait and you wait and you wait and the ads don't start until you look at Twitch directly. And then it's like, come on, I've been waiting three fucking minutes. You're supposed to start playing after a minute. Uh, why? Why are ads like this? Twitch fix shit. I mean, the fact that it works at all, and I don't have to, like, worry about my ads is great, but... Come on, man. You know? <laughs> all to kill pre-roll. Okay, my microphone is not picking up my... Somewhat not good sounds as I eat some cheesy chicken chicken broccoli and rice. So don't worry I seize you. I just want to say hi once we're out of the ads. So that way if anyone does show up it's not a oh look at this this person who I will now say hi to and not have to worry about their response. No, I want something different for dinner. The more I eat this, the more I'm like, yeah, this was a good choice. Because I like my junk food. You know what? I'm going to save it for after the ad ends. Also. that away from where I work slash eat which is a present for someone I don't want to get damaged before it's Christmas all right are we live good hello Jindra how is you <laughs> pretending like it wasn't you that I was specifically talking to and also like Currently eating cheesy chicken and broccoli and rice, which like sacrilege, although not really, because like that this is totally something like any number of countries would do. I'm sure. Um, exhausted. I would have felt that a while ago, but I had a nap, so I'm feeling good. But hopefully, you sleep well tonight. But like, I wanted like. Macaroni and cheese with pulled pork, which is like a kind of frozen meal that you can pick up from like the specific brand. <sighs> I believe that is Mexican of origin. Oh, really? Huh. Cool. I learned something new tonight. So I wanted like mac and cheese with pulled pork in it with, when the pulled pork's like in barbecue sauce. So then you got like cheese and barbecue sauce and da da da. Wasn't where we quickly went to to pick up some medication. So I decided, yeah, I also like cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. So I decided to pick that up. And I <laughs> was not super enthused about the idea, but the more that I've been eating it, the more I'm like, you know what? This was a good decision. Because, like, this isn't something I feel like I could eat every day. But you forget how good it is, too. Anyway. To the regalia. I was kind of hoping that the menu would have more music. But it just sort of played its opening sting and then just kind of fucked off. So we've been sitting here in silence. So, uh, oops. Uh, also, there is a give civil pants option. I have given Sybil pants. She does not need pants. 
However, I also look at Twitch and I'm like, y'all are fucking weird. Because you're like, <laughs> you told VTubers you are not allowed to show too much hip. Too much hip is bad. And it's like, but well, why though? <laughs> like, if they're, if everything is covered, why is too much hip bad? <laughs> Twitch being interesting aside, I also want to check cool portals window so it doesn't matter if that, and I know it's being picked up by the capturing software. I'm going to bump it to like there. Let me know if that's too loud. File select. Do a new one. It's an interesting game, and I suspect it's more advertisers being grumpy. It comes to a point where it's like, advertisers, sex sells. Also, no children are fuck. I, I gave you pants, madame. Where are your pants? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> Twitch, I tried. The game refused. <sighs> oh, wait, is it under attire? Sure is. It sure is. I am now wearing pants. Given that Twitch makes like 898% of its revenue through ads. Revenue. Twitch barely breaks even sometimes. God, I really do like this, like. The frame rates are high, but the character animation frame rate is a little low. Kind of aesthetic. It feels really, really good. Hey, we gotta jump. We have crouch. We have a Z target that doesn't work at the moment. First. Oh my. Oh! We have first person mode! Our button pauses. And we have main protagonist, which if we get camera stuck, is appreciatively handsome and or cute. I speak with you. B. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to fall out of my cage. I hope the princess won't be upset with me. I cannot speak with you. That barely worked. Hope I'm not too late. I guess only one way to find out. So yeah, I said, it's a big castle because I was alluding to the fact that this is, in fact, a big castle. Single jump. That is a cracked wall. I can't jump that high. Okay, so this way it is. You will not speak to me. Okay. Breaker. Press X or left click if you're playing with mouse and keyboard. This game is kind of a 3D Metroidvania. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Attack freely while moving to vanquish foes. Hitting enemies will build up magical power. To use it, hold the B button or the F key to heal. Nice. gone through a number of updates say that there was back 
backflip and we crouch. Oh, yes. Left bumper throws it for whatever reason. And it's like a, a sword? Tonfa? It's weird. Well, now I have a means to go this way. Giant glow stick Tonfa. Sure. Oh, game saved. Also, that camera's pretty good, seeing as it clips through geometry that's not, like, an actual, actual wall. Though I can see where that could be used to my advantage, depending. Oh, look, the classic trap of the thingy is swinging. It's always good to, like, look around. Oh! I say, that looks different. It was on a chain. Sure enough. I, like... Oh! I don't know if I can. Shortcut made. But yeah, if you can tell, this game has minimal direction. Good end for ill. Well, I can't go that way. Not smashing the boxes or the barrels. This is bullshit. The line! Press left trigger or the Q key to slide on the ground. Gain a boost of speed and slide under tight gaps. And some attacks, but by, by itself an incomplete technique. Yeah, we can't, like, jump out of it. Can't attack out of it. Though if it's, yeah, if what it's saying is true, incomplete technique is correct. We can slide under things. By minimal, you mean none. Yes, that's minimal. None can be minimal. So why are all y'all trapped in a cage? Get back up. And this door is locked. Your disguise is paper thin, but it'll fool most of them. Not like it matters. You're stuck here like the rest of us now. No getting past strong eyes. But, but this is disguise. What do you mean? Hey, 
here and go back. Hmm. Uh, that looks necessary. Go exploring a little bit. It's a scary day. <laughs> When none isn't the minimum. Well, there's always the negative, where it'll give you the wrong directions. Oh, well. Not much for going this way. to be thorough. Oh. Hold up. Oh. There goes my weapon. So this suddenly turned to Dark Souls. Fuck. Now, give me that back. With a bit of Hollow Knight. Climactic. Got a small key. Disappears after you use Donald Lock Door. But I mean, hey, we won! But no, I haven't been playing Dark Souls recently. What are you talking about? It's not like I've been recording and casually playing through Dark Souls 2 or anything. <laughs> Power holding the essence of the princess, never to be seen again. But with the three powers of the sun, praise the sun, one can find their own path. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we're probably coming back to this place, but... Gotta try for it. You thought that was enough to stop me? Now I gotta make all my way all the way back up. Where that What? 
fun for you. screen in particular that made me feel stuck for like a total 20 minutes. there. Also, this this feels very old school. Because, like, you don't even... Yeah, memory hazy. Hmm. Oh, that looks delightful to fall in. Don't. Crystals are pretty nice, right? Make me feel safe. I think I'm gonna lick it. Bed's full. <laughs> what? But part of it feels like you need pen and paper if you're going to make a map of this place. We get. Indignation. Higher power gives you increased combat capabilities. Upon reaching power level 2, the range of your attack is extended. At level 3, your damage is increased. This is reset upon spending it on a heal. So, now we just have better combat ability. Just... to see your mental map. To move the map, press lock on plus camera move camera while active. Rooms will be revealed to you, to you as you enter them, allowing you more to more easily chart a course through the area. Oh. Might be new. Or maybe I just didn't go this way the first time. So many of them been so many of have been trapped in the dungeon, and for what? So, so many of what? Hey, <laughs> you got the map button. Definitely a weird unlockable to have. Yes, that was added in an update. I was gonna say, when I first played this, it did not have a map. So I guess if you want to play it classically, that room is like completely optional.
I am incorrect. Because for whatever reason, these bubbles are usable. And you don't require power up for them. Ow! Punk? Eh, what are you supposed to be? Ah! Ah! Don't throw dishes at me! What the hell? That's doom and gloom and don't go in that. Down there I was missing? I mean, there's a gate. But like the gate, the gates could be there as sort of an aesthetic. It seems like a waterway or a drain like area. Okay, then. We get like a super dash out of that. Really? Did you have to? Never mind. Princess used to love having afternoon tea here. Handmaiden has run out of her special ingredient. Because the princess doesn't really want anybody else's tea. Now the million dollar question is, how do I get back? Possibly a question for later? Such a risky jump. I am. And I can go no further. <laughs> Darn, stopped by a wall. Okay, how do I... I think I gotta do all the platforming again to get back, don't I? And... feels so, like, close. That's some crazy ability. Not every day my character is just like, Ha! Ah, yes! A, a sphere! A bubble! Let me just do some weird superpower shenanigan. Like, what? Oh god! Have you know? Whoa. I need to heal. 
Fortunately, I'm down to one power. Heck you. That do. I didn't see what it did. Probably had something to do with this, if I had to guess. Let's see. <laughs> Some of these jumps feel sketchy, let me tell you. connected over here? Huh. Hurt enough, but not only is there not really a way to get up here, there's no real way to get across. I will gain an ability this way. Or mayhaps not. Having a working map of the whole area is still pretty wise. Jesus! Those jumps feel super uncomfy. Hey look, a wall! The uh, fuck's going on there? There's supposed to be a new armor display in the library I wanted to see. But stay at the castle, I can't find the entrance anywhere. It's that comfy hay. There's a couple of locked doors here. Where we came from initially. But I've made one big circle, because I'm exploring the map. Because having a working map is better than not. Why the box float, though? The same puzzle. Seems a very simple puzzle. So I can bear I can just make that jump. But I can't make it back that way. I have to go specifically through the northern part of the cross room. Uh, 
fuck are you? Yes, you exist. Back off. Mother. Small key up there. But I don't think I can jump it. Mental note, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and your majesties. Can't forget about your majesties. Ah! Oh, damn near fell in the purple stuff. I don't know what the purple stuff does. I want to find out what the purple stuff does. Purple stuff doesn't seem good. Got a bunch of two. I don't fucking know. Oh, there's Strut. Just as they're in the background, just. it is, but I want that. <laughs> Probably a piece of heart. Nine. One way. This is one way. Hey, we're up here. So another door over there. Oh, right, we've been that way. Okay, well. Place has been mapped out then. At least what I can go to. because that's the way I was initially going. I just didn't go completely in that direction because there was a, like, yellow doorway, and the yellow doorway is, like, indicative of... This is an area transition. It's like, I'm working on this map. Castles, and then there's whatever the fuck this is. Indications that you had way too much fucking money. Because, like, do you live in this, or do you just, do you live in part of it? Also just occurred to me. Do the sneaky platforming, or I can raise that up. I don't know what the other switch did. I'm almost afraid to ask at this point. Where does this go? That's a key. See why you we why say
Well, that's not utterly terrifying. We've opened an alternate path in this area. Sure. <laughs> the fuck, man? Well, going through that way. Probably not going through that way. Or that way. What the fuck is that? Not something I can reach. Uh, well, okay, I can, but not something I can do anything with. May as well see where this connects to. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Mark this. Oh, fuck final. We know it's Sansa Keep. Making that. It's very much like design where it's like you have to explore and then be all like, well, I can't go that way, so let's go a different way. You have to pick up the story as you go along. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going that way. Unless Sybil has, like, an ability to just shrink at will. Hmm. <laughs> Again, we're, we're not able to go that way. That's locked. Came from that way. And that's very much locked. Hmm. Track in a sec. Going up there is not an option because that's sealed off. It's really the only other way to go is that way. There's something on the map that. Look at me. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I can't get. what happens when you touch the purple stuff. I'm a ninja. Or part of the Cooper family. Really, it's hard to tell with this character. See, that almost looks like I could make that jump, which just seems cheesy. Did I goof? Smart design. <laughs> May as well heal. Whoa. <laughs> 
He nied. Okay. Raised it a little bit. Like a lot of risk just to get some magic power. That's nice. It doesn't add damage. Like if you're if you're already hit but you fall into the bad stuff, you just take the bit of damage and get teleported back. Very good. Don't oh, shit. Well, now I definitely need to heal. <laughs> I can reach that guy. Yeah, I know, so... don't have the power. You feel it. I got a key. Alright, now let's run all the way back to Sansa Ken. No. Granted, we could, but like... I don't, I don't know if we should. It feels more immediate and relevant to continue exploring this area. God, for this map, seriously, though. Okay, that links up then. vibes. That's a good reason why. Got the improved range. Improved range don't mean diddly squat if I get hit. Improved range, and his sword is fighting me, fucker. Thing, something's glowy. Sunsetter. 
Press left trigger while in the air to plunge downwards, which can then chain into a high jump. Use this to break through fragile floors or simply stop yourself in the air. Jumping right after the plunge will result in a high jump. God, the sound design is really good. Yeah, it grabs both sides of this weapon and just plunges with it. And now we can high jump. Which is arguably cooler than a double jump. I don't know what I'm going after. I can jump up there now. Eight. No! I want it! I will have it. What is it? I don't know. I was so confident I was over the platform. Like, just exceedingly confident. Hello, good that did, huh? Uh, not that way. I mean, I'd be able to reach the small key in the cross room in the castle. Keep going through here, see if there's anything else we can find. Or we can open the way back. It's as if the game is trying to tell me something. Wasn't there, like, something this way that I couldn't quite get around because it was too tall? Yes. Hello. Gain an aspect of clear mind. Collect all three to hold more magical power. Also, now is the FYI. Now your boy's blind. Practically. I don't remember if I got anything else after this point, but, you know, if I could make that jump. And yeah, you have no forward momentum with that. Anything else that comes to mind? Well, no, there is that, like, blocked door that way. Question, do I even need that? I do not. That was put there to stop you from getting soft locked. What opens you? I'm curious that that door is not opened. They can ads are soon. Ads are in four minutes. That seems... I don't have the forward momentum. Okay. There's got to be another way to get over there then. Can get up here now, though. That lead. Underbelly. Oh. Oh no. Well, oh, I have never been here. Hmm. 
Don't know about this one, shoot that far. <laughs> Barely isn't. <laughs> Up three. Let's go. Rude about it. I'm gonna be rude about it. Heck you then. I don't feel comfortable making these jumps every time. Stay that way, right? Mm. Like, I know why there are two switches. Because with how open this game seems, you could basically come from this at any angle. Uh, I don't think I can go back. Hmm. It was only mildly terrifying. Mildly. Is that a good time to take a break? That is a great time to take a break, even. Oof, oof, Yox tab out, and the game's like, nope, I'm I refuse to play stuff for you. Fine then. Take a break. Let's take a break. Get up, stretch, do what you gotta do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere, because we will be back with more pseudo regalia. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Are we back? We're back. Let's get back into it then. Oh, right. We're now in the underbelly. Why would I need to use this? Hmm. What? Oh, I retain. Oh, oh. Okay, then. Retain the, the boost status. That's a shine spark. Well, all right then. Imagining all the secrets I'm missing, and I'm like, oh, that's definitely a one way street. My god. I thought I used the bathroom, but apparently not sufficiently enough. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I think my gut's good now. Ugh. Bleh. I hate it. I hate it when that happens. You're like, you come back from break and you're like, hey, I'm good. And then all of a sudden your body's like, you're not good. <laughs> and you're like, shit. Oh. Well, this room seems particularly me. Eat that. I didn't hit by that. Wonderful. Back to zero power. Okay, I cannot hit the plates. Most of the enemies. Now it's just you. Okay. For my efforts, the door is unlocked, I think. There. Probably didn't need to do it from there, but yes. Yes, I can. Uh, oh. Made a bridge. Okay, there's nothing else as far as doorways in this room are concerned. Literally here, just the platform? What about this? Don't overthink it too much, but it feels like I'm missing a secret. jump off of this. Wow, okay. Game asks you to do some techniques at very specific spots. Can't go that way because we don't have a key. Somehow got to the other side of that door before coming here, we wouldn't have been able to get into this room. That's neat. We can get back. Up. Oh. That just seems rude. Like the game's asking, are you... Are you aware that you can crouch? No. Perish. now. Feels like you'd fight a boss up on this. Be careful what I say. Seriously though, why is this under the castle?
bridge. Cool. In fact, get up here. No obvious reason why I'd want to get up here specifically. That one specifically is like purple and pink, orangish even, rather than like teal and pink. <laughs> I'm gonna say I think that's important. Platforming is really tight. The movement and stuff is good, but it's, it's very much like, yes, we expect you to make this on the very edge of that platform. Sheesh. There's like no way back up if I do that. Small key, man. Shit, fine. Hooray, I got a small key. Well, no, I don't. God, for no fall damage. Let's be real. That looked like a jump that should have done fall damage. Like, in real life, if you saw that and you did that, yes, you probably could make it. No, you would not survive. Barely even a bridge. There's like no way to tell I am where I am specifically on the map. Um, no real way to tell if it's I can just see where the stalagmites are. Uh, no, no, that is that is very much not connected. Or well, hmm. could have gone that way the entire time. That is likely. Okay, now I can just get up here. if you will, you weren't very good at these sorts of games. And so you got into this one because it's inexpensive. I mean, one, the lack of direction would probably turn you off, but two, these very seemingly risky jumps could also turn a person off because they require pretty specific and precise input. I'm gonna have to fight one of you, aren't I? Confirming. Why did I let go of that? Because I forgot which button was the lock on. I bumped into him. Fight his sword. Sword has been defeated.
in that way. Okay. Let's go then. Ow! Fuck. You are rude. You are rude and I dislike you, maid ghost. terrifying. Okay, so our glow st <laughs> This thing is a glow stick. It is providing our light. I don't think I can get up there. Extension. We now have four health. The fuck? This looks mean.
Okay. Right close to him now. Okay, victory is mine. Doors are open. This room looks very complicated. Oh, good. Use? Why did I throw that? Missing anything. Stairs. Stairs are good. Oh. Snow Peak Temple and Majora's Mask situation. Keep it going. slide under that. me that easily. as high as it'll go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, what do we have here? Other than me completely biffing the jump. Ascendant Light. Attack objects and enemies to bounce off of them. In addition, your weapon now glows brightly even in the darkest of places. Oh! out like this. I just feel like a badass. Oh, that's... that's smart. Okay, so now I have a bouncing jump. That goes somewhere. I think there's a bit more to explore, but how do we reach those areas is the question. We'll do some pass-throughs once we've got some more abilities, methinks. Hey, we're back in the dilapidated dungeon! Off the map we have explored. Tights are just falling. Still lack what we need to get all the way up there. Or maybe we don't. Definitely lack to what well, we need to get over there. Right now, all of our movement tech feels very rough. Quite chain into each other. Which is something that, like, many a platforming game will do, right? Hello. Not in the direction of Castle Sana. As it goes to Twilight Theater. It seems like you'd be able to hit enemies doing that. Next 
somewhere. Was there anywhere we couldn't go in the dilapidate dungeon? attack early. Oh, right! The boss, or I say the boss room, but the room with the enemy in it. The big one. going on up top that we couldn't reach yet. <sighs> Love it. Love it when you can go back to older areas and then you do stuff where it's like, I wasn't able to do that before. The issue is, is that I'm not able to get up there. Not to mention, it doesn't look like there's anything up there necessarily. Where is that hole in the ceiling? what I've got and go back to Castle Sansa. I should be able to go through another room now. left there because I think both doors need a key. Should be able to get the key. There. Provide I don't do anything stupid. I don't do anything stupid. Got it. Both these doors were locked. somewhere. Where do you go? Our way to Sansa Keep. Here we go. Hmm. I 
don't have everything I need to get through this room. The ability to hit enemies has given me the ability to get anywhere new. These are time trial crystals. That's unfortunate. That was an optional upgrade then. I wasted a key! Try going this way. Now Sybil very much still has pants. Just, uh, they are now very professional. Clearly. And nothing could... Nothing stops me from going that way now. To backtrack. Library. Oh, my key, I could have opened that door. Ah, well, at least I have a very cool skin. But why is there so much hay in the library? Like, excuse me? It seems a touch excessive. Sadly. Read a book about a little thimble that goes on a big adventure. It's a good time. Is, is that supposed to be a reference to something? Because I don't, I don't get it. space while in the air. After a short delay, do an air kick. Hitting walls and objects with it will cause you to jump away. Can be done up to three times until reset. Try kicking early to maximize distance. Have a wall jump! Okay, 
That's super subtle, but do you see how the light is reflecting off that wall? That's teaching you that you can angle your wall kicks. That's super clever. Clearly what an okay person would sound like. Well. That happened. So, which is a way to get around people being cheeky and exploiting like a wall jump possibility. Got some pretty good height on it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. screwed that jump up. Cool. Very much about performing techniques in ways that you didn't expect that you were going to. See, okay, I'm I'm just overcomplicating it. Yeah, if you do it early, you maximize distance. There we go. Say no to that. This 
This library doesn't seem very big, does it? Not that I'm complaining, it gave me a new technique. Technically, I was supposed to get that technique earlier because it's basically free. But now I have a high jump, a wall kick, an enemy bounce, and just a basic slide. I tried to get fancy with it. <laughs> Wise! Don't do that. Unless you very much can. Stop some of my magic. be able to get over there, huh? Maybe. Maybe they also thought of this. Yep. <laughs> need, need that to be, like, completed. The Empty Bailey. Why does this guy look like that? It doesn't seem good. Quick alt tab. We're not anywhere near time for ads, it seems. Got like five ish minutes. Damn, right on the nose. But, yeah. Um, this game definitely deserves more of my time. It's very, like, it's not the most complex to look at. Like, I, we've seen this brick texture probably like 30 times already. But like, the character model is fantastic. The movement feels good. I love the aesthetics and the frame rate on the character, which differs from the frame rate of the game, is also very good. Because like, we have a smooth 60, but the character's running at like, I don't know, 24, 20 frames per second, but you can tell it's intentional. This gives it a very good vibe. I like this. I like it a lot. Uh, let me go ahead and save this again. I know I just did, but mm, save early and often. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, I think we'll call it there. I'm going to hit that add snooze button in case I take too long. Uh, folks, thank you very much for sticking around to the end of the stream. Your time is one of your most valuable resources, and I appreciate you guys spending even a minute of it here. Um, because it gives me folks to yap at. And also, just appreciate, like, the what an indie game has to offer. Like, I'm going to pull this up really quick, because I picked this up. I don't even think I picked it up on sale. Yeah, it's six bucks. It's six bucks. It's a directionless Metroidvania. If you have a spare six dollars and you don't want to yeet it at me for whatever reason, buy this game. I say yeet it at me for whatever reason. You don't. You never have to financially support the channel or whatever. It'd be cool if you did. Because then you can buy me Taco Bell. That and also I can have more money to give to the stream. But yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, six dollars. Six dollars for this kind of a game. I feel like you can spare six bucks, but if you can't, you know I understand. But if you got six bucks and you liked what you saw, consider it. Hashtag not an ad, because I'm not sponsored. But yeah, no, I appreciate what I played. I definitely should give it a like. I should beat this game at some point. It'd be a game clearing game. That would be interesting. Um, excuse moi is a streaming that we uh, could uh, raid. Hum hum. Hum hum. I mean, Dove's doing some what ifs. That might be some cozy listening time. Let's go raid Dove. When don't I raid Dove? Folks, please remember you're always, always welcome here at Mana's Potion. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Go try Pseudo Regalia. Seriously, it, it's kind of cool.